Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and ATM Mastermind Group page. And today we're here to talk about is the ATM business going away? Okay, so I always get this question asked and it's a big question in the industry. Hey, is the ATM business going away? I see a lot of people using cards. There's Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay. There's all these other, these mobile wallets. I really don't want to invest in a business that, you know what's going to be gone in two or three years. So. The ATM business has been around for 50 years, okay? And in today's video, we're gonna have five points, because I always go with five, five points, what, what's gonna happen in the ATM business, and is it gonna be here in the next 10 years? So the answer to that is yes, it's gonna be here in the next 10 years, guaranteed. So point number one, this is a big point. There's between 20 and 40% of the US population is unbanked. Phil, what does unbanked mean? Unbanked means I don't have a bank account, but yet I'm still earning a paycheck, I'm doing, I'm doing activities in the US, and I don't have any, any way for somebody to pay me and then and, and get the money and then get cash from it. There's no way. Maybe I got a mobile wallet set up, maybe, I got, maybe I'm with Discover, and the money is put into that account, but how do I get the cash? You're gonna need ATMs to do that. Well, how do I fill? How do I get it, cash if I don't have a bank account? Well, there's MasterCard right now as a big program they're trying to roll out that allows people that they can create a mobile wallet and then from there, they can go to an ATM and get cash. So MasterCard realizes that there's a big need for to deal with the unbanked industry and the only way they can get cash is by going to an ATM. So one of the, it's called MasterCard Cash Pickup. Maybe you've seen the program and they're, they've been working on it for about a year, a little over, and they're trying to get more people involved in this program, and that drives traffic to your, rev, to your ATM. So, that's number one. Number two is the gaming industry. Gaming industry, casino games, Las Vegas, Atlantic City, river boats, Indian casinos, all that is done through cash. They don't take credit because if you and the biggest reason they don't is because they don't want disputed charges on their gaming terminals. So it's all cash. You got the cash, you put it in the, the, the casino terminals, and then you play the game. And this is a big reason why cash is going to still be around, and you're going to need ATMs to have it around so you can get the cash. So gaming, all facets of gaming. Now, some of the gaming, now we, we got internet gaming coming alive, but how do you get your money? How do I get the cash? Where do you do? Ah, you got to go to the ATM to get cash to to do anything else with it. So now you got an online account, and how do you and where do you go? Is you're gonna have to take your winnings and go to a ATM to get some of the cash if you're doing online gaming. Point number three in today's society, what's going on right now? We got COVID-19 going on. People are saying, "Oh, I don't. I was at, hey, I was at a hotel myself. I went to see if they needed an ATM. Walked in, and and there's a sign. We're not accepting cash. Oh my goodness, I'm an ATM business. They're not accepting cash. Okay, maybe they want to decide right now. They don't want to do that. So, however, there's a bunch of th items that people say, "Well, cash is dirty." Truth be told, cash is very porous. Plastic is not. Bacteria stays on plastic a lot longer than it does on cash. Now, nobody talks about that, but that's a true statement. Okay, the other thing is, when you, when you have your card, you're gonna push it into a chip reader, and you're gonna touch the screen and push, your, push the buttons. And all that, you can, have, you can transfer uh, any kind of bacteria just as easy, if actually more easy than you can when you have uh, cash. So, is cash going away? No, it's actually safer than the plastic. But we don't talk about that, nobody really talks about that. They always think cash is dirty, but actually it's cleaner than plastic. Point number four is there's legislation being passed on a state level, trying on the Fed, but right now on a state level and city level that says that the municipality or the state has to accept cash as a, as a second form of payment or another form of payment. So a business decide, oh, we're gonna be, we're, gonna be, we're not gonna take cash, and we're gonna go 100% credit or debit, and, they're gonna, and right now the state legislation is saying, nope, sorry, your debt is discrimination against people who don't have bank accounts, and they want to have another option to take payment. So, they're setting up rules and laws that says, you know what, you have to take cash. 
So we're just following some of these guidelines. We're looking at this very closely, but the trend is not to eliminate cash. The trend is to keep cash as a viable payment method. And last I, sa I, I checked, it says that it's US tender, therefore you have to take it. So there's a, gonna be a big push to keep the cash in place. Okay, now number five, it's a big thing. Nobody talks about it. Not a lot of people know about it, but I want you guys, I'm very excited to talk about number five. So I'll see you guys over at the ATM Mastermind group page. Always remember, it's free to join. There's a lot of like-minded individuals just like yourself over there in the group, sharing ideas, talking about how their business is working. Also remember, we have an A to Z program that teaches you if you wanna get in the game, how to get in the game, step-by-step, step, talks you from just the idea all the way to placing your ATM, all kinds, of, I got 20 years in the business, sharing ideas, teaching people for almost 20 years how to get into ATM business. I put it all in a course, check it out, and I'll see you guys over at the ATM Mastermind group page. Take it easy.